we go now to George Solis, live in Baltimore County, outside the suspected shooter's last known address with what we're learning about her past. George. Yeah, Vic, and earlier tonight there was a sea of police activity both inside and out this apartment complex behind me. It's one of several addresses WJZ has learned 26-year-old Snokia Mosley called home. This is the woman the Hartford County Sheriff's Office says opened fire on several of her co-workers early Thursday at this Rite Aid distribution center in Aberdeen. Authorities say Snokia Mosley shot and killed three of her co-workers, wounding three more before taking her own life. Uh, she has died at the hospital from a fatal injury, self-inflicted gunshot wound. The 26-year-old reportedly shooting herself in the head, later dying at the hospital. Mosley was said to have lived in several places in Baltimore County. WJZ spotting a convoy of unmarked police cars stopping by this apartment complex in White Marsh. One neighbor who asked we not identify her says she had brief interactions with Mosley during the few months she lived here. She was very nice and she always said hi and um, I felt kind of, I felt she was okay. He started just run, he, people started just running and they say they start shooting there. This woman says her father escaped Mosley's assault. Later describing what he described about her behavior at work. According to witnesses, she had only been employed at the center a few weeks. She never spent time with them. She was by herself, just watching, you know, people. This woman's husband called her from inside the building after witnessing the shooting. She didn't even aim, she just shot. It's so upsetting, so emotional for me right now. I just want to get to my husband. WJZ also looked into Mosley's criminal past in Maryland. Outside a few traffic violations, there's virtually no other criminal record. All the more reason that those that interacted with her are struggling to understand what possessed her to carry out such a rash act of violence. Very devastating. Don't know if you can trust your neighbors or not. Yeah, and earlier tonight, we also tried to reach out to several women that were inside of Mosley's unit and told me they were not ready to talk, and then they left the building. And again, police have still not released a motive in the shooting. We're live in Baltimore County tonight. George Solis reporting for WJZ.